and the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'll join you again at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from earlier this afternoon. But for now, it's Sunday night football. And on the call, as always, Brandon God and Charles Davis. All right, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the steel capital of the world, Pittsburgh, PA, at Heinz Field. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Indianapolis Colts and the Pittsburgh Steelers. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we look at this Steeler ball club entering play. They come in riding high, just one loss in their last seven games. It's a very focused team, very disciplined. They've kept the penalties to a minimum, and they're winning football games. Meanwhile, for the visiting Colts, they've come in on a nice run of recent form, four wins out of five. And the offense last week, they had things humming. If you're a they've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. Here it's third and three. Looking to throw. Kennedy. Got his man complete over the middle. That's James. And a great effort there to shed the contact. And it helps him pick up the first. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. At first glance, I thought he just used his size in order to win the route. But he also had a little subtle move in there as well. Made the defender think he lineman will take the bait and move Let's laterally go. and open up a crease that they can run through didn't happen on that play. Back to throw. Kennedy. That's caught at the 25. Uh, 3 19. 3 19. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. Oh, some strong running. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it. To be at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop him. Might we see our first touchdown of the game? Here's first and goal. Let's go! They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. A great play there. His ninth touchdown of the season. And the Steelers are going to end the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. They're not they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. A touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that right, way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you think you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, the team. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. And they'll run it here. And he will lose yardage back to the... from the gun. Kennedy escaping the pressure right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. A lot of pride. And they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. You're talking about... And the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. Going absolutely nowhere. He'll wind up losing a 10. I remember being taught that cliches have become so for a reason. A lot of times they're true, right? What's that they used to tell us about letting sleeping dogs lie? This one wasn't sleeping, maybe just slumbering a little bit. But taking that gamble there, you've got the lead. You may have ignited them. We just did. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my... And he's going to be taken down. Back across midfield, just across midfield at the 49. They have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. The Colts on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and four. Back to throw, Watson. And a quick throw here, that's complete. 
And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. It each time you snap the ball. Watson now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Here's Watson. The attempt on the dive, and he has it. What a catch. Another good reception there. The Colts up. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first. No one's crossing our goal line, and they're definitely not going to start right now. You can just see the dejection. Feel like nothing is working offensively. Here's Watson now on second down. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A great effort. Holt's able to get this back with it, a touchdown. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the... Looks like he'll throw here. Able to shake him off. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And now here's a timeout called by second and three. home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. Get him one. Hey, 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 hey. Now let's go. This is Clement. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. Well, partner, there's something special about a game in the snow. Just always fun in these elements, although a little chillier up here in the open-air booth. The only thing that's not fun is that we got the mid-game notification that our flight was canceled tonight, but we'll deal with that later. It was really a fun game to watch, though. It was, and there is something special about games played in the snow because the element of surprise really kicks in. You don't know how they're going to handle the ball, if someone's going to make a dramatic play just out of nowhere, and all of a sudden it just changes the course of things. But a big shout-out to our crew to make sure that we were comfortable up here, as comfortable as one could be in these elements. They took care of us and made sure we were dressed properly.